Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we're going to make this beautiful vine crochet plant. If you're looking for a super cute way to get some greenery in your life, this is for you. All the materials are at the end of this video and there's a written pattern on my website, secretyarnery.com. Here are the timestamps so you can jump back to the section you're working on and let's get started. Start by making a slip knot, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Shrink that down and pop it on to your 5mm hook. Chain 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now just pinch that last chain you made, just keeping track of it, and chain 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now just roll that chain to the side right where you're pinching it. You're going to see this little back loop right on top of where you were pinching it. So that is the fourth chain. One, two, three, and four. We're going to go right into that chain and make a pico or a slip stitch. Pop that back loop onto your hook and slip stitch. Now you want some tension here so your pico or your little leaf looks realistic. You want it to be nice and tight and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Pinch that fourth chain and chain four more. One, two, three, and four. Roll that chain to the side. Look for that back loop right on top of where you're pinching it or the fourth back loop from your hook. And we're gonna go in and make a pico or a slip stitch. So get some tension on that yarn. We don't want any extra yarn on our hook. We want our loops nice and tight. And slip stitch. So we're making vines and little leaves coming off of the vines. The leaves are always a chain four, but the space in between them can vary. So usually I do six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Pinch that chain and do your leaf. Leafs are always chain four. One, two, three, and four. Roll that to the side. Look for that back loop right after where you were pinching it. The fourth back loop from your hook. And slip stitch. That makes your cute little leaf. And just pop your hook in. Get your tension nice and strong. And slip stitch. Now for the vine, we can do any chain length that we want, anywhere from chaining three up to chaining 10. So whatever you feel like, six on average, but you can always change it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So that's gonna be a long distance. Pinch that last chain and chain four more. One, two, three, and four. Roll it to the side. Look for that back loop right on top of where you were pinching it, right here. And we want to slip stitch into that chain. So into that chain. Get your tension nice and snug and slip stitch to make your leaf. So now keep going, just doing a random length in between your leaves. So a chain and then your chain four with your slip stitch into the fourth chain. And keep going until you've done about 24 inches. When your vine is about 24 inches long. Now this does not have to be exact. You can have them anywhere from one foot up to three feet. Just on average, 24 inches approximately. Go ahead and chain seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So now pause the video and make a whole bunch of different vines. I made six that are about 15 inches and then 12 of the three different sizes. So my next one is about 20 or 21 inches. Next size is 28 inches or 71 centimeters. And after that, they're about 34 inches or 86 centimeters. So I made about 12 of each. If you fold your vines in half and give it a bit of a pull or like hold it like a ponytail, you can kind of see and judge if you have enough vines. Now when all your vines are done, we're gonna sew in our tails. 
So take your needle and just thread that yarn. And now our little chain seven at the end, look for your cute little Vs. We're just kind of gonna loop that up like a little bud, a little tip. So pinch it so it looks cute, however you'd like it to be, and then just sew it in. So just up the center of that chain. Using a sharp tip needle really helps. These are linked in the description box down below. It goes right through all those fibers. So you just kind of sew it in like that. Give it a tug so it doesn't shrink up or it's not too tight. And then just work back down in the opposite direction. So we wanna work it in three times, up, down, and up. And cut off your tail. So that is our finished vine. So now you wanna pause the video and do that on all of your ends. So now we're gonna work on our dirt. So we're gonna be making a circle. So grab whatever container you're gonna use and we're gonna crochet a circle that's uh, just a smudge smaller. So we're gonna start with our green yarn. So grab your six millimeter crochet hook and make a slip knot, just leaving a short tail. We're gonna work over it. Shrink that down and pop it onto your hook. Chain three. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna go into that very first chain we made right on top of our slip knot, right here, to make a ring. So just pop your hook in. Now you wanna get yourself situated. You want your tail to go down along with your chain, and you wanna hold that open like a U shape with your finger and thumb, just like that. So we're holding that open, and slip stitch to form a ring. Chain one, and into the center of the ring, right where you're holding it open, six single crochets. Taking care to go over your tail. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six. There's our six single crochets into our very first single crochet. So that is right over here into that very first single crochet we made. So slide your hook in to that first single crochet that you made, and we're gonna single crochet to join. So bring your yarn back and make one single crochet. So we're gonna be working in the spiral for our dirt. So we're gonna mark that stitch with a stitch marker. So the stitch we just made, stitch marker. That marks our first stitch of the new row. Now we're gonna do two single crochets into each stitch for this row. So into the very same stitch, one more single crochet. And into the next stitch, just look for those little Vs at the top of your work. Each of these stitches is going to get two single crochets. There is one and two into the next stitch, right there, two single crochets, one and two. Into the next stitch, two single crochets, one and two. And into the next stitch, two single crochets, one and two. Now into the next stitch, the last stitch of this row, two single crochets. One and two. So if you count around from your stitch marker, you will have 12 single crochets all the way around. So to make a circle, we're gonna add six single crochets every round. So to start round three, go into where that stitch marker is and make your first single crochet. One single crochet into the very same stitch as that stitch marker. And now take that stitch marker out and move it into the stitch that you just made, right underneath your hook, right there. Put, pop in your stitch marker. So for this round, we're adding six single crochets again. So the first is just one single crochet and into the next stitch, Right here, we're gonna do two single crochets. So we're gonna alternate one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, two single crochets. So into the next stitch, two single crochets. One and two. 
and into the next stitch just one, one single crochet. So increase into the next two single crochets, one and two, and one single crochet into the next one. So you can pause the video and keep working along, doing two single crochets into the next stitch and then one single crochet into the stitch after that, all the way around and I'll meet you when you get back to your stitch marker. When you get back closer to your stitch marker, your very last stitch right here should have the increase. So that last stitch should have two single crochets. One and two. Now into that stitch with our stitch marker, one single crochet to start the next round. One single crochet, move that hook to the side and we're gonna swap that stitch marker up to that stitch that we just made. So we're always gonna be marking the very first single crochet of each round. So for this round, we're gonna do two single crochets and then an increase. So our first single crochet is right there. It has our stitch marker. So one more single crochet and then our increase. So that is two single crochets into the next stitch. One and two. Into the next two stitches, one single crochet into each. One, two, and increase. So increase is two single crochets into the same stitch into the next two stitches, one and two, one single crochet into each. There is one and two, and increase into the next, so two single crochets into that next stitch, one and two. So now you can pause the video and keep working your way around, doing one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochets into the next. So one, two, increase. One, two, increase. One, two, increase into that very last stitch. So work your way around and I'll meet you when you get back to your stitch marker. Now I'm back right at my stitch marker and that very last stitch is my increase. So two single crochets into that last stitch. If you're making a really small plant, this is just gonna be the center where our plant is coming out. So if you're doing a miniature one, you can change to your dirt color anytime. So into the first stitch of the next round, one single crochet, and move that stitch marker up. Always marking our first stitch. Now for this round, we're gonna be doing one, two, three single crochets and an increase. One, two, three single crochets and an increase. So our stitch marker marks the very first stitch, so that is one, two is into the next, three is into the next, and increase. So two single crochets into the next stitch. One and two. One single crochet, two single crochets, three single crochets, and an increase. So into the fourth stitch, two single crochets into the same stitch. So you can pause the video and keep working along, doing one, two, three single crochets, and then an increase into the fourth, all the way around, and I'll meet you when you get back closer to your stitch marker. So into the very last stitch, that's my increase, so two single crochets into that last stitch. So now we're going to start the next round into that stitch with your stitch marker, one single crochet, and move that stitch marker up to mark the very first stitch of the new round. So for this round, we're going to be doing four single crochets and then an increase. So our stitch marker counts as our very first single crochet, so we're going to be doing two, three, four, increase, one, two, three, four, increase, all the way around. So into the next stitch, that's our number two. So two, here's number three, here's number four, and then increase into the fifth. So increase two single crochets into the same stitch. 
So you can pause the video and keep working around doing one, two, three, four single crochets and an increase into the fifth all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back closer to our stitch marker. Back at our stitch marker, increase into the last, so two single crochets into the same stitch. If yours doesn't line up perfectly, it's all right. We just have to make sure that we do six increases, one, two, three, four, five, and six in the round. So no matter what round you're on, all you need is six increases. So to start the next round into that very next stitch, our first single crochet, and move that stitch marker up. So that counts as our very first single crochet of the round. So for this round, we're gonna be doing five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and an increase into the sixth. So we're gonna do that all the way around. So one, we just did, two, three, four, five, and an increase into the sixth, one and two. So you can pause the video and keep doing five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five, and an increase into the next all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get closer to our stitch marker. So when you get back to your stitch marker, the last space should have your increase. If not, just go back and check that you did six increases in that round. It doesn't have to be in the exact right spot. You just need the six increases. So into the first stitch of the next round, one single crochet, and move that stitch marker up. For this round, we're gonna be doing six single crochets. So this counts as our first single crochet. So that is number one, so two, three, four, five, six, and an increase. So two single crochets into the same stitch. So now you can pause the video and keep working around, doing six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and an increase into the next all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to our stitch marker. When you get back to that join, just take your pot or your container and check if that is about the right amount of green for the center of your plant. You still want some dirt around the edge. So I still have my increase to do right at the end. So when I do my first single crochet and my second single crochet, but I'm gonna leave the second one on the hook. I'm not gonna finish it. So cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle. Leave everything on your hook. Get your dirt color yarn. Hold that tail along the back. And just finish that single crochet with your new color yarn. Just like that. Drop both of your tails and shrink them down. And now we're ready to start with a new color yarn for a new round. So into the very next stitch, our first single crochet of the new round with our new yarn. Just like that. Now we don't really have to mark that because obviously it's a new color, but we want to stay in good practice. So I'm still going to move my stitch marker up to that very first single crochet that we just made. So now we're going to be doing seven single crochets. So first one is our stitch marker. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then an increase. So one, here is two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an increase into the next. One and two. So you can pause the video and keep working along doing seven single crochets and then an increase all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to our stitch marker. Into that very last stitch, our increase, or just make sure you've done six increases for that round. And now we're ready to start a new round. So into the very next stitch, our first single crochet of the new round with our new yarn. Move my stitch marker up to that very first single crochet that we just made. 
And now for this round, it's eight single crochets and then an increase. So our first stitch, number one, so here is number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and an increase. So two single crochets into the next stitch, just like that. So I'll pause the video and keep working around. Eight single crochets and an increase all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. Into your last stitch, it should be your increase, or just make sure you've done six increases for that round. One single crochet into the first stitch of the next round, and now we're going to move that stitch marker up. I'm even going to change colors of my stitch marker just so it shows up better with that brown. For this round, we're going to be doing nine single crochets and then an increase. So our stitch marker stitch counts as our first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then an increase into the next. So one and two single crochets into the same stitch. So now you can pause the video and keep working around doing your nine single crochets and then an increase all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to our stitch marker. When you get back to your stitch marker, do your increase or make sure you've done six increases in the last round into the next stitch, one single crochet, and move that stitch marker up. Now for this round, we're going to be doing 10 single crochets and then an increase. Our stitch marker stitch counts as our first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then an increase into the next. So two single crochets into the same stitch. So pause the video and keep working around. Ten single crochets and then an increase all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get back to our stitch marker. Into your last stitch by that stitch marker, your increase, so two single crochets, or just make sure you've done six in the last round. And now you can get your pot and measure again. So my pot is about seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters, and my dirt is about seven inches. So when the points of your shape touch the edge of your container, or almost do, you are ready to start the sides. So whenever this is the right size for your pot, you want to write down or make a note of how many single crochets you did in between the increases. So for me, I've done 10 single crochets in between the increases, so I need to make one more shape just like this. So now we're on to the fun part. One single crochet into each stitch until we have about two inches of a side, a little bit of a basket. So into the very first stitch with our stitch marker, one single crochet. And the only thing we have to do now is just move this stitch marker up to mark the first stitch of every round. So now pause the video, make one single crochet into each stitch all the way around, and I'll meet you when you get back to your stitch marker. Now when you get back to your stitch marker, we're gonna leave this stitch marker in. This is gonna mark where we started doing the sides of our little basket. It's starting to curl up the smallest bit, but not really much. So leave that stitch marker in one single crochet into that stitch, add a second stitch marker to mark your new stitch. Try to just work past that stitch marker so it stays out of your way. One single crochet into each stitch all the way around until you get back to your second stitch marker. So now just pause the video and keep working around until you get back to your new stitch marker. When you get back to your stitch marker, we're just gonna keep marking that very first stitch. So just keep moving that stitch marker up into that first stitch of the new round. So pause the video and keep going. Do five more rows, just of single crochet, one into each stitch. 
So there is my five more rows. You could just count between your stitch markers. So there it is, kind of like a little hat, a little basket. You can check your pot and just check that that size is about the size that you would like. That's kind of what you're going for. So now to finish it off, we can take out that stitch marker marking the first stitch of our next round. And we'll just slip stitch into that stitch. One slip stitch, chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So that is the top of the dirt finished. Now go ahead and make your second circle just the same distance between those increases. So mine was 10, but yours might be a different number. I'm gonna leave my yarn attached. Just pull up a big loop, set this one aside. Now we're gonna start attaching our vines. We're gonna start joining our short ones first. I made six short ones. So get a long piece of matching yarn and thread your needle. I'm using a blunt tip needle for this. And we just wanna go in around this first ring we did. So we're gonna come in, take one of our short vines and we're going to fold it a little bit so we have two ends. We're not gonna do it equal. We're just gonna make a short piece and a longer piece. So just thread that onto your needle, just in the loop. You don't have to go through anything. And now put your needle back down into the next stitch. Just there. Bring that all the way through. Like this, and now we'll just tie this off. Just so we have a starting space. Just like that. So now we're going to poke our needle back up into the next space, that space ahead. Now we can bring it through all the way, get another short vine, put your needle through it, and now I'm going to go back down into the dirt, all the way through. and snug that down. So I'm gonna jump ahead, put my needle back up and through all the way up, get another short vine, fold it a bit in half, around the needle, yarn through, and then back down into the dirt. Just like that. So we're gonna come up ahead a little bit, all the way through, get a vine, a short vine, fold it a little bit in half, loop it through the yarn, and then go back down into the dirt. There we go. Get another vine, fold it a little bit in half, and back down into your dirt. Just like that, up in to the next stitch, or the space between the next stitches. And the last shorty onto your yarn and back down into your dirt. So there is our first row. We put a vine into each of those stitches to start. Now we're going to skip a row and go into the second row right out here. We're gonna work around that row with the next size of vine. So grab a longer vine. You can fold it in half any which place that you feel like. Thread it around your yarn and back down into your dirt. Go 
go ahead a little bit. We can start skipping some stitches. We don't have to put one for every stitch now. Bring your yarn through, new vine, and back down into the dirt. So now you can pause the video and keep working, just adding your vines, and just keep working around your spiral. When you've joined all of your vines, now we want to knot our thread on the other side. We just want to make a knot a couple times. We don't want that one to undo. Because that is all of our vines. Now it's time to join the bottom. So uncurl your basket or the dirt where your vines are so your stitches are ready for you. And get your lid ready so the stitch count is the same for both of these. So just go back in and put that loop of your lid on your hook. Get rid of that stitch marker, we don't need that anymore. And just one stitch after our join. So here's our join. We're gonna go in one stitch before, just here. So if we do have to make any stitch corrections, we're gonna do it right where we have to sew in our tail anyway. So we're gonna go into our first stitch right here, and we're gonna go in to our stitch from our dirt, from our vines. So we're going to be joining our lid and our dirt together. So into the lid, both of those strands on your hook, and into the dirt, both of those strands on your hook. So you have four strands or two stitches on your hook, and we're going to single crochet. So into the next stitch, or into the next two stitches, both of these, the parallel stitches side by side, one single crochet, just like that. So we're joining our lid onto our dirt. So into the lid and into the next stitch of our dirt, one single crochet. The next stitch of our lid, the next stitch of our dirt, one single crochet. So you can pause the video and keep working along nice and slow, one single crochet into each stitch that matches, each parallel stitch. Just like that. Make sure when you're going into the top one, you don't go over here. Look back and go into that very next stitch, the one that you haven't gone into, right here. So always get that yarn out of the way and get into that very next stitch of the dirt. So pause the video and keep working along one single crochet into each of these matching stitches and I'll meet you when we have a little opening left. When you have a little opening left you still want to be able to get your hand inside. Pull that loop up and just pop a stitch marker into that loop just to make sure we don't unravel. And now get your hollow fiber and stuff it. And then just massage your hollow fiber so it's around the edge and not too much in the center. We want it to be a bit like a hockey puck or a cake. We don't want it to be like an ice cream scoop. Take out that stitch marker, pull that one back up so we can crochet it shut. So loop back on your hook, make sure that stuffing stays inside, and now we just keep crocheting it shut, just like that and then chain one, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to kind of sew in. Really, we're just gonna poke it into the middle. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Now this tail, I'm just gonna poke right in to the center of my dirt. Just gonna go in and out the other side, giving a pinch and pulling the yarn out, letting it relax a little bit and tugging a smudge and cutting it off. There. And now you'll notice that my plant, my dirt, is just at the top. I have a whole empty space down here. So that is a good spot to hide anything, really. Don't tell anyone. Great spot to hide things. If you don't want to hide anything in there, just pop in your polyfill just a little bit, and that will hold up your plant.
To make a medium size or large size vine plant, you will need 200 grams of a green yarn, a remnant of a slightly different shade, one skein of brown for your dirt, some hollow fiber, a terracotta pot or any container you'd like to keep your plant in, a six millimeter crochet hook, five millimeter crochet hook, one stitch marker, a pair of scissors, and a darning needle. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. See you in the next video. Stay hooked.